Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the 3D rotational tool. And the first things first, uh, for those who don't know, uh, to use this tool, you have to make an action script free file. If you try and do it on an action script two file, it will just come up with a warning window telling you to use action script free. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to make a very simple animation, which basically is just two doors opening in 3D. So I'm just going to start by making a door. I'm going to make it into a symbol real quick. A movie clip will be fine. I'm then going to copy it and then make a new layer and then paste it in. Okay, I'm just going to line up these two symbols real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to just center it roughly. Okay, what's really important is before I actually use the 3D tool, I'm going to just edit the position of the anchor point. And if you go on free transform, it becomes available and the anchor point is this white circle here. And what's so important about it is wherever this is placed, that then becomes the center of all the 3D elements. So for this example, I want to have the door opening. So I want to act as a hinge. So if I just put it there, then it will all act on that and be fine. So I'm going to do the exact same thing for that on the other side. Okay, now I've done that, I'm going to select these and then I'm going to right click and create motion tween. If you try and create classic tween for 3D animation here, it, it won't let you. Um, it'll just sort of gray out all the values that you can uh, change. So you have to use motion tween. So it'll create some uh, frames automatically. But I'm just going to expand them to about 60. I'm also going to take this opportunity to bump up the frame rate to about 30, just so it's a bit smoother. Okay, now they actually use the tool. So I want it to be here. I'm going to. The tool is here on the toolbar. And so, and once that, once you pressed it and activated it, you'll get the usual uh, guides here, which you get when you're dealing with uh, 3D objects and programs. Uh, so you can you can just edit it like this if you want. But I find it's it's a lot more precise if you go to the transform window. And you can edit the values like this on this lower bit here. So I'm just going to get on with the animation. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Y axis. And you'll notice that it's still acting on the middle, but if you let go, it will snap back to where I put the uh, anchor point, so it's all good. So for this one, I want it to be a positive value, so it's spring and open. I'm going to make it about 60. That seems like, oh, yeah, that works fine. And then I'm going to go over to this one. I'm going to do basically the same thing, but I'm going to give it a minus value because it's on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to play it back and see how it looks. So, yeah, it's a very uh, simple effect, but it, it's a start. Uh, also, the frame rate is dropping here, uh, but don't worry. I'm gonna, if you export it, it will play it'll play smoothly, providing you have a fast enough computer. Okay, so, now that I've done that, I'm just going to delete the animation, delete this layer, and I'm going to delete this keyframe, and remove tween. So before I finish the tutorial, I'm just going to show you a couple more things. I'm just going to drag back the symbol again. Now what's good about this is that once you rotate it, Flash, it activates a 3D space in Flash. So if I then move it like this, it'll automatically uh, act as if it is in 3D space. So you can use this to sort of make 3D buildings, sort of anything like that, more sophisticated backgrounds and scenes. Okay, so if I go back to Motion Tween, if I click on the Tween bit and go to Properties, there's also a bunch of additional features. Uh, this is the ease function which I covered in my last tutorial, so if you want to check that out, click the link. Uh, there's, ro there's rotation, so you can add additional rotation if you want to. And then you can choose which direction uh, of degrees you want to add as well. And you can also 
of clockwise, counterclockwise direction. You can orientate it to a path and you can change the uh, scale. And you can also sync graphic symbols, which I believe is to uh, give symbols, the same symbol, the same uh, 3D animation automatically, I think. Okay, so I'll probably make a, another tutorial later on uh, with some more advanced stuff, but that's basically a quick look at the 3D tutorial, and I hope it helped. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe.